Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chessy Ten Two channel. Today is a very special video for me because it's uh, my 200 subscriber special. Woo! We did it! <laughs> and this video was requested by you guys and especially by Irish Demon in our last live stream together. So I sat down and researched a bit about our biggest idiot in Germany. His name is Attila Klaus Peter Hildmann and he is a far-right and nationalistic conspiracy theorist. And I thought we could watch together his video. I will of course translate it with subtitles in it and maybe talk about a little bit of their the conspiracies and debunk them because they are bullshit. And yes, I might have gone overboard with my makeup today, but I don't care because I like it. So let's just begin. Baby boy, ich weiß nicht, wer du glaubst, wer du bist. Dass du denkst, dass das deutsche Volk dich als Bundeskanzler akzeptiert oder die gesamte Menschheit als neuen Pharmadiktator. Du bist ein kleines, gekränktes Etwas. Man weiß noch nicht mal, ob Mann oder Frau. Und deine Mama, die im Vorstand bei IBM war, hat dir dabei geholfen, Microsoft hochzuziehen. Und du hattest ja schon damals das Ziel, die Welt zu beherrschen. Jeder Mensch auf dem Planeten sollte einen Computer haben. Und auf diesem Computer sollte dein Betriebssystem, Billy Boy, Microsoft laufen. Dafür hast du auch damals Computer verschenkt. So ein riesen, versorgtes Betriebssystem hast du auf den Markt gebracht. Ständige Abstürze, Fehlermeldungen. Und jetzt glaubst du, Du kannst dasselbe mit den Menschen machen. Ein Betriebssystem, deinen Impfstoff rausbringen und auf den Computern den Körpern der Menschen installieren. A vaccination has to have viruses in it. That's the whole point of it. It's so funny to see because you guys won't know this, but Attila Hildmann here, he did study physics on the Free University of Berlin for seven to nine years I he has referenced both of it but I'm not entirely sure so somewhere between seven and nine years he studied and failed twice at his diploma and still in those years he was trained to think critically to read studies and still he thinks such bullshit it's so ridiculous even to think about because in my video I think the first one of my vaccine series but also in the second one I will link both I did talk about why there are viruses in vaccines because they have to be in there so your immune system can look at them and can produce antibodies to fight them when the real virus when the real virus enters your body. It's not that hard to understand. And the reference to Bill Gates' operating system is so stupid. The internet was so new back then. No one had known that there are people making viruses to steal people's, to steal people's data and all of this. That's such a stupid reference. Like, I mean, you could say vaccines are a kind of update for our immune system. Billy Boy, du bist ein Psychopath. Und Deutschland weiß das. Man muss sich nur deine strafrechtlichen Befragungen anschauen. Wer aus einem waschechten Psychopathen wird denn sonst so mit seinem Oberkörper? Gates was momentarily and understandably shaken, but he was not injured. The hit squad piled on with two more pies before one of them was rustled to the ground and arrested the others for at least a moment. He got away. Gates went inside, wiped his face clean and made no comment. He then went ahead with his scheduled meeting. Und man hätte die schon damals was ganz anderes in die Fresse drücken müssen. Du kommst also nach Deutschland. Mehrmals. Du hast dich nicht nur einmal mit der zionistischen Jüdin Angela Merkel getroffen. Und was war das Thema? Jedes Mal deine Weltwirtschaftsforum, Infragenda. Der Plan? Dein Plan. Rothschilds und Rockefellers Plan. Für 2020. It's always that Attila Hildmann tries to everything he demonizes, he wants to put in the same corner as the evil Jews. And that is horrible because being Jewish or being evil 
is not a causation. There may be are people who are bad, but so are in every other religious belief system. It is a human thing and not a religious thing. And the things he says are so anti-Semitic that in Germany people are actually trying to press charges against him because he denies the Holocaust. He thinks there something did happen there, but not as we know it. He thinks that Hitler did not kill any Jews, but he did kill Illuminati and Freemasons. So he is in a like grayish zone with his um, statements, he says, because the fact that he doesn't entirely deny the Holocaust makes him not really liable. Wer hat denn damals zum Labor in Wuhan Geld geschickt? Du bist so arrogant, dass du denkst, der Deutsche kann doch nicht mal Internetrecherche machen. Deine ganzen Zahlungsflüsse stehen doch online auf deiner Seite. Du bist einer der größten Geldgeber der Weltgesundheitsorganisation. Du schmierst die deutschen Medien. Du steckst tief in der Lebensmittelindustrie, in der Pharmaindustrie, in der Waffenindustrie, ja sogar bei Black Rock drin. Jemand, der tausende Monsanto Aktien hat oder plant den Himmel zu verdunkeln, sollte man definitiv misstrauen. The sky darkening, I don't know how to say it in English, but it's just an idea to prevent Earth from getting too hot for organisms to exist. It's because of the climate change, which he denies also. I, I just, I can't. It's so frustrating because he's so radicalizing. He radicalizes every conspiracy theorist in Germany. Because if you are a conspiracy theorist, you have just like a mistrust in the government. And he uses that to kind of build an army. He endorses guns and violence. As you heard there, he also says he wants to, when he is the leader of Germany, he wants to arrest every scientist, every politician, and execute them in public with their own poisonous vaccinations. That's the kind of guy he is. Und die Leute glauben das Märchen, dass du nicht der reichste Mann der Welt wärst. Aber wir wissen, dass du das bist. Denn du hast ja dein ganzes Privatvermögen in deine Wohltäter-Stiftung gepackt. Und deswegen zählt das nicht mehr. Aber zählt man das mit deinem Privatvermögen zusammen, da bist du der reichste Mann auf diesem Planeten. Und denkst, du kannst der Mächtigste werden, indem du systematisch die Behörden schmierst, die Medien und die Industrie. Und vor 20 Jahren, am 29. Januar 2000, waren wir zwei zwölf Kilometer voneinander entfernt. Da warst du mit deiner ganzen Clique auf dem Weltwirtschaftsforum. Und da sagst du dann also mit den ganzen anderen Verbrechern wie Warren Buffett. If you get availability of contraceptions, then families will voluntarily decide to have less children. And that's good for all of this. Less children. And that's good for all of this. Less children. Less children. Less children. Getting the peak population to be closer to nine than ten billion. Uh, that's good news. That's good news. That's good news. But that's not a bad thing. We know this. That's why families in our Western world, like Europe, America, again, people get less children because we have contraceptions available for most people at least. We have education available for most people and we have education on human rights. So women can decide themselves if they want to have children or not. And many women won't, don't want to have children, but in less educated countries and societies women don't have a right to decide those things so if the man wants to have 12 children the woman has to obey it and that's horrible and when you have more education more rights for women and the availability of contraceptions why is that a bad thing if a woman or a family decides hey we don't want no kids or we don't want 12 kids let's just have two kids that's fine where is the problem ich war auch am 29. Januar in der Schweiz aber ich kam nicht dorthin um meinen Plan zu formulieren die Welt zu versklaven sondern fürs Skifahren und am nächsten Tag gibt mein Vater um an einen Herzinfarkt und der Krankenwagen kam nicht durch und er konnte nicht gerettet werden weil alles abgesperrt war wegen des Weltwirtschaftsforums wo du Gabi gegründet hast 
here with Bill Gates at uh, Davos at an event to unveil a new initiative that you're excited about that's uh, dealing with vaccines. Well, we always have to worry that a new epidemic is going to come along. Well, we always have to worry that a new epidemic is going to come along. Well, we always have to worry that a new epidemic is going to come along. Yeah. Uh, a flu epidemic that could go global, uh, something like the Ebola epidemic, which we were lucky was confined to a few countries, but still caused immense health and, and economic damage. Also, ich möchte das einfach mal vorab sagen. Ich habe ein kleines, nicht unbedeutendes, persönliches Problem mit dir. Und in den letzten 20 Jahren hast du deinen teuflischen Plan an verschiedenen Stellen in der Welt umgesetzt. Was armen Menschen ausgebeutet oder krank gemacht, wie zum Beispiel in Kenia. Regierungsdokumente zeigen, dass du den Menschen dort eine einfache Tetanusimpfung verabreicht hast. Und in dieser Tetanus-Impfung war eine Sterilisationsform. Oder lass uns nach Indien schauen. Dort hast du Mädchen impfen lassen, ohne dass die Eltern was davon wussten. Und viele dieser Mädchen sind krank geworden, bekamen Lähmung oder sind unter mysteriösen Umständen an Selbstmord gestorben. This is very unfortunate. That shouldn't happen. That because of a convention or anything, everything has to shut down basically that people that need help couldn't get rescued. Of course, but also you have to say that wasn't Bill Gates's fault. It's horrible, but that is not a reason to demonize and accuse this person of the most horrible crimes there are in human history. And the whole vaccination thing of people having bad side effects of vaccines is a lie. Here is a let me just translate it in English. Here is an article of a fact-checking site from Germany. Bill Gates alleged vaccination crimes in fact-check. And you can, I will link it in the description of course, first claim Bill Gates polio vaccines caused a global polio explosion. It's basically false. We have here polio vaccines paralyzed 400 96,000 children in India. According to blah, 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 blah. This claim is currently circulating on Facebook with receipts. We like receipts. However, the, it has no association with vaccine-based polio. And they're, they're talking about paralyzed children. And it's called non-polio acute flaccid, flaccid, flaccid paralysis or NPAFP. Between 2000 and 2017, this was registered in 640,000 children in India. The scientists note that the number is 491,000 more cases than would normally be expected. They speculate whether they speculate whether there could be a connection with the oral polio vaccine since their NPAFP numbers have fallen again since 2012. And if you, you can read this and then come, in fact, the WHO data portal shows an increase in registered AFP cases from 2000 to 2012. According to the WHO, this development is due to a more precise recording of the cases. AFP is a symptom and can have various causes. We are informed by email. So that has no basis. Here are many different studies linked just in this article. So many claims of Attila Hildmann against Bill Gates are debunked just in this one article. Anger is growing in central India, where at least a dozen women have died after more than 80 women were sterilized by just one doctor. Justice for all. He grew up in India. He used to work for Microsoft, the Gates Foundation, the Gates Foundation, the Gates Foundation. Two big pharmaceutical corporations, Merkin Company and GlaxoSmithKline, launched their commercially licensed preventive HPV vaccines in India in 2008. Cardosil by Merck and Cerevix by Glaxo claimed to help prevent cervical cancer. Their marketing was aggressive and results were shocking. As part of clinical trials, 14,000 tribal girls were vaccinated in common district of Andhra Pradesh, but four of them died within six months of the vaccination. Their deaths during clinical trials for HPV vaccines have raised serious issues about the efficacy, safety and consent. In the month of July 2009, Merck and company with the help of an international NGO based in the US called PATH, called PATH, called PATH, India Council of Medical Research and local health workers. The violations happened at two levels. One is at the implementation level. That is both not true and so we just pull up again this article claim bill gates vaccinated 23,000 girls in india against hpv 1200 had serious side effects seven died these claims are unsubstantiated fact checkers from lead story snobs and politifact have already checked them in the past 
HPV stands for blah 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 blah. By April 2010, 23,500 girls were vaccinated against HPV by the organization PATH in two locations in India as part of a study where the vaccines were donated by pharmaceutical companies according to PATH. The global project for HPV vaccinations was supported by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. In 2010, the study was stopped by the Indian government as a precaution due to media reports about possible side effects. An investigative committee published a report on the case in 2011. The document is no longer online but is cited in a second 2013 report by the Indian parliament. No evidence to link the deaths to vaccinations. And you can, once again, read it then down in the description. You can translate this article into English, so you can read all of this with Google This Works. And you can look for yourself. One of the wichtigsten Gesellschaften, um deinen satanistischen Plan zu erkennen, is Planned Parenthood. Dort bist du und dein Vater Forscher. Diese Gesellschaft setzt sich ein für Geburtenkontrolle und Zwangssterilisation. Und es gibt bezeichnende Zitate der Begründerin von Planned Parenthood, Maria Sanger. Es geht hier nicht darum, die Menschen zu retten und zu schützen. Es geht hier um Eugenik, Claire. Eugenik. First of all, she's called Margaret Sanger and not Maria Sanger. But, okay. She was an activist for women's rights, birth control, a right to abort if a woman wants to. And yes, she maybe has had horrible views on certain things but that doesn't mean that the organization she founded still represents those views because it's illegal and there's no hint regarding anything like that and just because one person back then was an asshole doesn't mean every company today in germany there were there would have been so many companies that were still so evil because during first and second world war there were companies if voluntarily or not i don't know that worked with evil people but that doesn't mean that the people today are as evil as back then that's just bullshit und das hat ja auch familientradition bei dir deine mutter war vorstand von ibm und thomas watson prägte und initiierte das Eugenikprogramm der Nazis. Und IBM stellte auch die Lockkartentechnologie für die KZs in Deutschland. Und IBM wurde von wem finanziert? Natürlich von Rothschild. Dessen Marionette auch du bist. Du denkst, du bist ein schlaues Gleiche, aber das bist du nicht. Du bist ein Loser, ein Verlierer, ein kranker Psychopath und ein Kinderschänder, ein Pädophiler. Wir wissen, dass du dich viele, viele Male mit dem Kinderschänder Jeffrey Epstein getroffen hast. So what? Is Bill Gates now tied to the Nazis that killed the Jews? Or is he tied to the Jews? Because both just doesn't make sense. Und du glaubst wirklich, dass du einfach mal so 7 Milliarden Menschen deinen Impfstoff in die Vene drücken kannst, der nachweislich, weil es ein RNA-Impfstoff ist, die Genetik eines jeden Menschen verändert. Vielleicht sind es ja auch einfach Nanoroboter, die du den Menschen implantieren möchtest, damit du sie über 5D ansteuern kannst. Und von der Menschheit, die heute lebt, sollen 7 Milliarden ausgelöscht werden, Und 500 Millionen Menschen sollen als Arbeitersklaven überleben. Das steht ja auf Rothschilds Denkmal in Georgia Guidestone. RNA cannot change DNA. That's just not possible. It's not the same thing. When do these people just read a little bit? Dein Vater ist doch der beste Kumpel der Rockefeller. Ist es nicht sogar dein Opa? Die drucken ihre komischen okkulten Symbole wie die Illuminatenpyramide auf den Dollar. Du hast ja mit Rothschild der Weltbank die digitalen Identitätsprogramme ID2020 und ID40 ins Leben gerufen. Die 500 Millionen Sklaven, die überleben, sollen eine neue Währung bekommen. Und das Patent dafür hast du kleiner Satanist auch schon angemeldet. Unter der Ziffer 060606. Übersetzt man deinen Namen in ASCII, kommt auch 666 raus. Du kleiner wannabe Antichrist. Du bist erbärmlich. Du hässlicher Wicht mit Hornbrille. Du bist ein kleines Stück Scheiße. That doesn't mean anything. Oh my God, what is this person talking about? This is so convoluted, makes no sense, and it's just horrible. Why would they, if this is such a big secret conspiracy, why would they print the Illuminati pyramid, pyramid or the aliens and stuff? 
why would they print it on the dollar why would they print it on t-shirts and all of this stuff where the people can see ah oh, look at them those are illuminati or those are freemasons if that's such a conspiracy why just not leave it does it make any any sense to translate names in ascii and then adding up those numbers and then multiplying by 15 and then dividing by seven and then there are six sixes or three sixes in those numbers it just makes no sense how how can these people think that this could mean something it's so random and yes even if you don't believe it those are coincidences <laughs> so original calling him billy boy like the condom brand <laughs> funny I think after this video we could be all on board when I say he's just a horrible person who radicalizes each and every person that is just not able of critical thinking and it's horrible to know that this person is allowed to vote in my home country this person has a big following in my country and this person has a lot of people believing in what he says because even one person believing in his bullshit is one too many if you did like this video please leave a like and subscribe and i will if you guys want to make a kind of series out of this where i introduce you to some german conspiracy theorists i have some funny flat earthers in mind for the next one so let me know down in the comments if i should do this if so i would be very happy and yeah i will see you in the next one bye